Hello, statistics and precalculus. We did the parent function square root. Now we've got the parent function cube root. Slightly different because this branch continues on down into the negatives. You can have a negative number when you cube something and therefore when you take a cube root. For instance, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 8. So negative 8, negative 2 is a point on the cube root and that wasn't possible with square roots. So a little bit of change. Domain is all real numbers. Negative infinity to infinity. All real numbers. The range, likewise. Negative infinity to infinity. All real numbers. The intercepts. 0, 0 is the only intercept. Key points. Include the same key ones that we had. X, Y. The next 0, 0, 1, 1 that you're all used to, but also neg 8, neg 2, and positive 8, positive 2. This does have symmetry. It's the symmetry of an odd function. It's symmetric over the origin, which you could also think of, as you remember, as a 180-degree rotation around the origin. If you rotated 180 degrees, this branch would come over here. This branch would come over here. It'd all be lovely. So over 0, 0, that makes it an odd function, which is not a surprise because it's a cube root. It's the inverse of the third degree equation. So the inverse of a third degree, the inverse of an odd function is also an odd. There we go. Continuity. It is continuous on its whole domain. Uh, negative infinity to infinity. The end behavior as we go here, it's heading toward infinity, infinity. Like the square root or the logarithm, it's heading in the y direction very slowly, but it keeps on going up. And likewise, this direction, it's going to negative infinity, negative infinity, again very slowly. So x goes to infinity, y goes to infinity as x goes to negative infinity, y goes to negative infinity. Max min, none. It does have an inflection point at 0, 0. That'll be useful in calculus. That's where it sort of turns around, but it's uh, it changes its curvature. It doesn't change that it's increasing or decreasing. It's always increasing. From negative infinity to infinity. And the cube root, cube root y equals the cube root of x is the same as x equals y cubed. Take a third root of both sides. Applications are again solving things that are cubic. And cubics show up in many fewer places than quadratics, but volume is a place where you get a cube, a third degree equation that you then solve. All right, there we go. There's your big blue book for 